I went from condos to pops house, on calls now bus routes, and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out. Who want to tackle this first? Uh, some of my guy Ambrose over here, man. Right, y'all. Uh, y'all familiar with the Breakfast Club, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. So is, is this your, is this your first time kind of hearing about this whole story? No, I mean okay. I did hear about it a little bit. Before. Okay, okay. And I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, you watch the episodes of the Breakfast Club, you see you, see, you got DJ Envy, you got Car Charlemagne there, and then you see all the people in the background. It typically seemed like there was a lot of guys up in there, but I, I find it really difficult to to think that she was the only woman there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're we're in a place where, you know, there could be, uh, you know, a whole team of of, of background, you know, producers and or mm -hmm. you know script writers mm -hmm. or anything like that, where, yeah. you know, I, she might not have had somebody in the room, which might have been the antithesis of her argument, but. I find, like saying you're the only one for me is is kind yeah, of like yeah. a, a definite. So yeah, yeah. is the Breakfast Club owned by a woman too? It, she's the head. Oh, the there's head, a woman yeah. is the head of the uh -huh. head of the. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. So, so I, I will say that maybe she was. Um, I have a different opinion. I think. Okay. I, I definitely agree with. There were probably other women, and and maybe you know even DJ Envy said, "Hey, there are other women." He had he had a list of names like mm -hmm. to say when I think it was an interview. He somebody was talking to him on the shade room, and he had like a list of names of women. Yeah, but I feel that if as the minority in the space in this term in this term gender, mm -hmm. if I am expressing myself that this is how I'm feeling. I think the most appropriate response should have been, especially since Angela has been on there for, I don't know yeah. how long, she years. 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 Yes. I think yeah. the most, appro the more appropriate response to have been like, we didn't know you were feeling like this. Let's talk. Yeah. What what was it that was making you feel like this, that you were feeling so alone? Because clearly DJ Envy had a different opinion of what was going on. Mm. But Angela is saying, my reality, my experience is ABC. As you were supposed to be her brother, why aren't you just entertain and like let's talk why are we getting here and what can we do for the next person who takes Angela's spot not to feel mm. like this because mm. clearly it's gonna have to be a woman so we can have a difference of opinion mm. how can we make sure she don't feel like that it's such mm. it would have been such an easy solution and it would have yeah. shown that the breakfast club wasn't as mis uh, didn't have as much misogyny as Angela was saying yeah. I mm. just think yeah. a lot of times conversations just need to be had yeah, yeah. got you got you okay. that's, that's interesting what you said what both of you guys said because um, Angela she just left the breakfast club yeah. so I don't know if you on a press run or if you really mm. like are feeling this way you know she's trying to get she has her own podcast now it's growing and she's trying to stay relevant but um, the fact that so many people have come out like, that's not true, that's not true, that's not true. I'm like, dang, did you do it for publicity? Mm -hmm. Because DJ Envy was classy with it. He didn't, he said no, he started naming women off. There's this person, this person, this person. Even though they're not in the room, they're in charge of some of the plays that are made on the show. And then you got Erica Mena. I don't want to go into that. You know, she's still like, oh, you covering up. I was with you. Yeah, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I was yeah. going level like, okay, what's going on? So now it's like, dang, Angela. Is this right, or yeah, yeah. are you just doing that to to kind of you know boost what you got going on? Yeah, so yeah. I don't know. I mean, she might have felt um, alone in some spaces, but you were getting along with them. You've been on that show for ten years. We've yeah. been watching you for ten Over years. With you see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm -hmm. when did this all come up? Because we never felt the animosity watching the interviews. I never was like, oh, they mm. get they're not getting along. You could tell. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. It's kind of questionable to me. Like, yeah. what's your motives with this? allegation at this point you know yeah, what i mean yeah. are you trying to boost your show or are you really feeling like they were against mm. you the time you were there yeah you know? yeah mm. i mean uh, yeah i mean the way i look at it is like like i feel what you're saying but it's like damn the tamarin hall show you gotta <laughs> you gotta go on there to say all the that whole, shit I it's like it's like you've been around us for the past what 15 <laughs> yeah. damn years yeah. and you ain't said none of this shit we gonna have a powwow or anything <laughs> yeah. and you ain't going there and say that yeah. shit Man. that's why dj be yeah. like cow what the fuck are you doing yeah. you have my number we still here you got my number crazy up I in see you every morning. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? Why can't we have this conversation? You know, I'm, I'm to, to be honest, I'm, I'm looking at it like, you know, Angela Yee is smart mm -hmm. and, 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 yeah, and very strategic and I'm going to just be real. A lot of times women be out here playing chess moves. Uh -huh. Angela Yee yeah, knows she's going to get sympathy. <laughs> yeah. She know they're going to be like, oh yeah, poor, poor Angela Yee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And have more people than not 
have her side and have her yeah, back with this yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm glad some people stepped up and had something to say mm. because she could have handled this very differently. Yeah. You know, you always saw good energy with her and DJ yeah. Envy. You know, Charlamagne and God been up, it was up and down. But yeah. I mean, you could tell that they was able to at least talk mm. outside of being in that yeah. room. So why you have to wait and go on a Tamron Hall show with a whole bunch of strangers and say that shit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Outside of, you know, with your team, you yeah. know? And, and you know, I'm glad that y'all here today because this is what people got to understand. When you have a team, y'all ride together. You don't yeah, just throw shit sure. out there. I don't even care if y'all not riding with each other anymore or y'all on sure. different teams now. Y'all yeah. rocked with each other for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Why you got to put dirt out there like that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, that's some bullshit, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, like I would never dime out anybody who I worked with or have worked with, no matter what. You know what right. I'm saying? Because I know I could give them a call and have a conversation with them, right? right. You know? So I'm just looking at that situation like, man, that's kind of messed up the way she handled that. You know, I don't, I don't mm. think that it was right, you know? And, 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 and this, is, this is why I think it's important that women call Angela Yee's behavior out, just like Erica Mena did. This is why I think it's important. <laughs> this is why, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I think it's important. Let they me tell Erica. Let me, let me tell you why I think it's important, though. Real talk. <laughs> Little Mama did, too. They all, it's a, and, and the reason yeah, why okay, I think right. that is important because it will make men in certain positions look at you know look at this and be like man i ain't hiring no women like i'm not finna oh. go through this so so you could go out and, and and talk you know and, and use misogynistic terms you know uh, uh for working with me and everything like that make me look crazy now because right. people now may look at dj envy and charlamagne like yeah. oh they misogynistic and all of that no dude yeah. no dude want to go through that you know yeah. what i'm saying <laughs> so this is why so this is why i think that women should call this shit out no angela you that's bullshit you could have handled that differently i don't that's believe all I'm in fighting saying. in public Public. You I know, would not be fighting with yeah, none woman. Yeah. I would not be arguing with no woman. Yeah. In public. I don't know. I am just pro against putting your laundry out yeah. in front of the enemy. And I'm not saying that, I agree with that. <laughs> no, I agree with that. That's what I'm saying. She yeah. shouldn't have went on the Tamron Hall show. <laughs> now, to me, I, I, as a as a man, you got to be smart. Like DJ Envy said, as much as he should have said, which call cap, whatever. But yeah, man, yeah, you playing your role really wrong mm. if you're gonna uh, uh, try to put her on blast in front of the world because we already know. Let's be honest, this world is pro women. Yeah. You know, man, we gotta yeah. fight for all this bullshit out here <laughs> when it comes to what we want. <laughs> <laughs>